good morning and assalamu alaikum to grade 4 how are you all you know what you're going to study in science this gen it's reproduction in plants see the plants grow and die and ensure their continuity of life this is a natural process all living things grow old and die eventually the production of new living things from their parents is known as reproduction plants reproduce by two methods formation of spores or formation of seeds let me repeat again the production of new living things from their parents is known as reproduction being living organisms plants also reproduce plants reproduce by two methods by the formation of spores one method and the second method is by the reproduction through seeds you know there are many types of plants the plants that reproduce by formation of spores are algae, fungi, mushrooms, liverworts, mosses, and ferns. So, do you remember all these types? Now you will be wondering what are spores? Spores are tiny living objects that do not have food storage like seeds plants that make spores produce huge number of them because they are very small and light wind and water carry them to a new place where they can grow into a new plant like this mushroom when seeds grow they grow into a new plant like this but seeds are different from spores because seeds are bigger they have many cells and they have a lot of food storage so that they can help the new baby plant grow well like this Seeds have food that grow into roots and shoots. The food also helps to make leaves. When the new leaves arise, they do photosynthesis and become independent plant. But the spores are very small and they have no cells. Let us repeat our most important concept. Spores are tiny living objects that do not have food storage like seeds. Plants like algae, fungi, liverworts, mosses and ferns produce spores like this rhizopus. Now students be ready with your notebooks and start writing what are spores, how do they help in the reproduction of plants. I know you are very clever and you have learned that all which I have told you two minutes ago. So the answer is spores are agents of asexual reproduction. Spores are produced by bacteria, fungi, algae, mosses and ferns. Okay, you all have to write it very neatly. Next two lines are spores are different to seeds. They do not contain plant embryos or food stores. When the spore bearing bodies break open, the spores are released and dispersed by the wind or water. If they get water or suitable conditions, they grow into the new plants. Okay? Make sure, my junior students, you will write these answers very neatly in your copies now this is a video of a mushroom and these are the spores see tiny mushrooms are growing by the spores this is bryophyte it has black spores it has red capsules with spores 
this is fawn with black spores at the underside of leaf you know the, these are fronds of ferns which have spores underside their leaves so they grow by spores this plant is saying thank you for helping me grow so i'm also saying thank you for watching this video stay tuned stay blessed allah hafiz